de-radicalization, rehabilitation, and reintegration. Burning topics that have pulled this crowd of concerned citizens from Adamawa, Yobe, and the whole state, Bonu. The objective of the forum is clear. Charter a course where repentant insurgents or violent extremist offenders conscripted by the Boko Haram will be readmitted into the society. Even if you are living in a tiny hut somewhere, that hut is your home. Home is not the size of the building. If somebody comes and destroys the hut and you find yourself you know, outside there, they come back, somebody feels a two or three bedroom for you. It's a one bigger unit in the house. But it's not your home. And you may never fully come to terms with the loss of that original home. The same thing applies when you have some psychological losses, material losses, economic losses, human losses, and what have you. Some people may recover, some may not recover at all. But any recovery is going to be a long process. This participant admits forgiveness will not be an easy task considering the atrocities committed by the sect. But as he sees it, this is the first step to recovery. Uh, it's not easy, but all religions, Christianity and Islam, we, we are all taught to forgive and um, forget. So with that, I hope in the near future, I know a crisis of this nature has just ended with shooting, shooting, killing. Uh, there's always negotiations, there's always... Um, trying to de-radicalize these um, insurgents and God willing, with prayers, I'm sure that um, we'll finally reintegrate them, those that we can. For the convener, Bishop Matthew Kuka, all the ideas without the support of the federal government will only remain pipe dreams. So those in authority must garner courage to make it work. What we are also trying to take away, I mean to move away from, is the feeling that there will be such a thing like the defeat of Boko Haram. Um, of course, I understand the fact that our president has a military background. I also understand the, the fact that National Security Advisor has a military background. I also understand the fact that the, the you know, Chief of Army Staff and the Service Chiefs have military backgrounds. But for me as an intellectual, a military solution is never really the best way to resolve a conflict. Most conflicts have never been resolved on the war front. The final issues of human survival, the building blocks for a better society, are laid by those who listen to the ordinary stories of people and how they have survived. So for me, it's not we will, we will defeat the, 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 the I mean Boko Haram militarily. But Boko Haram is an idea. It's not about guns and it's not about weapons. And the guns are important. But beyond that, constructing a befitting edifice that can ensure and inclusion, that we figure out how to manage the massive diversity that constitutes Nigeria. That is at the heart of the tragedy of Boko Haram. So I think we must renew our commitment first to the fact that education, education and more education is the antidote. But most importantly, it's the need for us to center every policy around the development of the human person. The consensus here is that the only weapon that should be used to fight war is peace. Because of what use will it be if violence is met with violence?